um, I'm Darian Hunt. Um, I usually go by Peyton. Um, and I'm going to talk about my service learning project, um, which was middle school age students um, wearing masks. So, I know middle schoolers are kind of rebellious and they don't like to follow rules, some of them. So, um, I reminded them of the options they have as far as wearing disposable masks or wearing um, unique masks. Unique masks that show their personality, their favorite things, that match their outfits. I know middle school is a time where kids get bullied a lot. So if they feel com more confident wearing masks that match their outfits or however they feel comfortable, I encourage that. I also encourage them to not pull their mask down, wear their mask properly, um, which is very important. There's no point wearing a mask if they're not wearing it properly. So that's what my video was about, um, really teaching students how to properly wear a mask and what not to do when it comes to reusing a mask. Um, disposable mask, throw them away every time after use. Um, cloth mask, wash every day. So um, that's very important for um, learning. And also I um, talked about the spray and how droplets spread the virus so I explained what droplets are in terms that middle schoolers could understand um, I included an image of how when you sneeze or cough your droplets come out so I um, let them know not to touch the front of their mask because other people's droplets can be on the front of your mask so um I think my video could be very helpful to middle middle school students um and maybe they can learn from my video if they watch it and also, um, health assessment has taught me, um, about, health assessment has taught me, um, how important it is to wear your mask, um, when you're in close contact. Because when we practice in lab, we wear our mask. When we first started, we wear face shields. Um, if, and, um, right now we haven't been examining people's mouth and nose because we know the virus is spread through droplets. So it's very important, um, that we wear a mask in lab when we're in close contact, even though we, we have to be in lab. Health assessment lab has taught me how to be safe and how to, um, prevent the spread. And... I hope my project can positively affect the community and get middle schoolers to be compliant with wearing masks. I know school in our area isn't um, open yet, but we want them. We still want them wearing their mask when they go out to town, um, to the grocery store, anywhere with their parents or friends. Um, I know it's getting hard for. Um, everybody to still stay quarantined or stay at home as much as possible. Kids want to see their friends. Um, they haven't been back to school. They haven't been able to see their friends. So if um, play dates are allowed, we want to we want to limit the different people they go see um, and limit the time. So make sure they want to keep them wearing masks whether they're visiting with friends or not. Um, and don't visit a lot of people. Keep it close friends, close family. And so if middle schoolers know how to wear a mask effectively, maybe they can help educate their friends or their younger siblings that aren't, they're still in elementary school. Um, Cause kids over two should wear masks, so that's a big age range. Um, so we want these students to learn from my video and learn from my classmates' video. Also, we want them to learn and be able to go out and teach these skills to maybe their their friends, their family, and younger siblings. So I hope my video um, creates positive effect on the community. That way, we can spread awareness and spread this knowledge.